now we are study next topic is osmosis definition the diffusion of water from a higher concentration of water to a lower concentration of water through a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis okay now a membrane with microscopic pores inside it and which allow only certain particles through it is called a selectively permeable membrane in this figure you will see that this membrane allow only the blue particles but it will not allow the red particles as the size of the pores inside the membrane is smaller than the size of the red particle okay due to this this is called selectively permeable membrane the pure water on the left of the membrane contains only water molecules we can say that it has a high water concentration the solution on the right of the membrane contains a solute such as sugar shown here in red dissolved in the water we can say that there is a low concentration of water here notice that the red sugar molecules are too large to diffuse through the membrane water will diffuse from a high concentration of water to a low concentration of water by osmosis from left to right the level of the solution rises on the right and the water level lowers on the left now after the setting of osmosis and selectively permeable membrane what is the function of membrane what is the main purpose and how the membrane selectively permeable membrane works inside the solution we are going to study about osmosis in animals and plants animal cell will gain water molecules and swells up and burst when they lose water molecules they shrink whereas plant cell when gain water molecules swells up and become turgid when they lose water they became flaccid limp this would cause the plant to wilt okay now first animal cell and plant cell animal cells such as these red blood cells will swell up and burst when placed in a weak salt solution or pure water as they do not have a cell wall water will diffuse into the cell by osmosis from a high water concentration to a low water concentration through the selectively permeable cell membrane As the water concentration is equal both inside and outside the cells there will be no net flow of water in either direction and the cells will remain the same size In this case there is a higher concentration of water inside the cells compared to the outside the cells will shrink as the water diffuses out of the cell by osmosis from a high water concentration to a low water concentration through the selectively permeable cell membrane plant cells will swell up until they become turgid when placed in a weak salt solution or pure water they will not burst as they have a strong cellulose cell wall water will diffuse into the cell by osmosis from a high water concentration to a low water concentration through the selectively permeable cell membrane as the water concentration is equal both inside and outside the cells there will be no net flow of water in either direction and the cells will remain the same size 
In this case, there is a higher concentration of water inside the cells compared to the outside. The cell contents will shrink away from the cell wall as the water diffuses out of the cell by osmosis from a high water concentration to a low water concentration through the selectively permeable cell membrane. The cells will be in a state of plasmolysis and the plant will wilt. This cell is in an isotonic solution, that is, there is an equal concentration of red solute inside and outside the cell. We can therefore say that the concentration of water molecules is the same inside and outside the cell. The same amount of water molecules will diffuse in and out of the cell. We say that there is no net diffusion of water molecules in either direction. This means that the volume and mass of the cell remains constant.